love with Pat's two cents. The Lord just dropped these two dreams in my mind. These were both prophetic dreams. And both of them happened at two opposite ends of my life. And I hope that you are blessed by it. I hope it encourages you. Because the messages were crystal clear. In the first dream, I ended up seeing a tidal wave come. Now, both of these dreams were about tidal waves. Okay. I'm looking out this big picture window, and I see the tidal wave coming. And I hollered at my, this was my first husband who was caught up in adultery at the time. I hollered at him and I said, grab that pole. Now he didn't have to grab me, he had to grab the pole. I said, there's a tidal wave coming and you need to hang on to that pole for dear life. I don't know who this is for, but you listen. I had to hang, I told him, you have to hang on for dear life. I can tread water, I'll be all right, but you have to hang on for dear life. That wave came through and busted in, and he was hanging on to the pole. And every once in a while, while I'm treading water, I had to grab his chin, because he was, <laughs> the water was rising quickly, and I had to hold his chin up so that the water wouldn't get in and drown him while he was holding on to the pole. So I knew that part of the assignment of that marriage was me interceding for him when I woke up. But I had to hold his chin up. Whoever you are, you hold on to the pole. The pole represents Jesus Christ. Don't you dare let go. Your life depends on it. Your soul depends on it. Do you hear me? I don't care how low you feel like you've gone. I don't care how badly you failed. I don't care how poorly you failed, God. Hang on to him. In the middle of your failure, hang on to God. Your life depends on it. Dream number two. Now this is for those of you who are married or you're in family. In any way, any type of a family union. With me, it was me and my husband. In this prophetic dream, I saw out the window again, smaller window, but I saw in the distance a tidal wave coming. Some of you call it tsunamis. And I spoke to my husband. Now, my husband was 100% blind, so I had to tell him exactly what to do at this moment. I said, as quickly as you can, lock your arms around me. I mean, lock them. And he put his arms around me, and I put my arms around him. And I said, Milton, there's a tidal wave coming. Now, baby, we cannot allow the water to get between us. We cannot allow anything to get between us. We have to hang on to each other for dear life. Now, we were not taking the place of God in this. What that meant was our relationship had to be rock solid because we were going to have some serious shaking going on in our lives. Do you hear what I'm saying? So I say this to say, during this dream, he had a death grip on me, I had a death grip on him. And we locked on to each other, baby. And when the water busted in, it was as if we were in the river rapids, in a, in a, a raft and the waves and the water was whipping us to the left and whipping us to the right and up and down and it was a rough ride really rough but we never let go of each other we never let anything come between us to rip us apart and as god would have it do you know we landed on dry ground we were safe and bone dry we landed we both were holding each other when we landed on our feet holding each other and facing each other safe and 
and sound. And when life started bringing, I told my husband the dream. I did tell him the dream. We prayed over it. And I believed that what God was saying was your safety and your relationship will be safe as long as you don't allow a wedge to come between you. Some of you family members do not allow a wedge to come between you. Don't allow anybody else to tear you apart. Don't allow the circumstance to cause you to blame each other. Don't take your frustrations out on each other. You be very careful how you treat each other while you're going through the shaking. And God will keep you together and safe. God bless you. You pray together, you stay together, and you will make it together.